but tonight you will hear stories of war, rebellion, death, and sabotage. We'll go to our first reporter, Doug. Doug, what's it like out there? Thanks, Harry. Hello, folks. This is Doug here. As you can see, after the British won the war, we gained the Ohio River Valley. Truly is beautiful here. However, the king says that we should not be able to go here. It's a shame, but I'm glad that we won the war, and you know what? I think that counts for something. Harry, back to you. Well, as sad as that is, we do have a juicy story on the Sons of Liberty. Last week, the Sons of Liberty tar and feathered a local tax collector named Cal Q. Lager. He has 28 children. Sorry, had. They all died of the plague. Truly a sad story. In other news, there appears to be a dispute at Carlton Square. We now go live to reporter Lem Online with the scoop. Lem? I'm here live at Boston no, Square where there appears to be a dispute no, no, between no, no, four no, drunken no, comics no, no, and three no, British soldiers. So no, far, no, nothing has no, happened. No, 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 we gotta go, we gotta go, run! 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 run. Shut the camera off. No, no calm no, down, no, sir. No, we can't do that. We have to shut it off. Yes. So we now know that five civilians have died and all were men. Our hearts all go out to them. Lem, what's it like out there? All right, well, after the shooting with the British soldiers and the colonists, you can see uh, three of them were dead if you want to follow me. Um, it's really a sad day. The British soldiers will have to pay for what they've done here today, but... You know, we're going to move the bodies out. We're going to give these people a proper funeral. Uh, Harry, back to you. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Wait. Wait, we have more news. Uh, let me see that. Okay, well, well, folks, it appears that the Sons of Liberty, due to the Boston Massacre, have rebelled and have dumped $1.7 million worth of tea into the Boston Harbor. We now go to reporter Noah Fence for the scoop. Noah? Well, we do have some tea bags of evidence of the crime, but uh, no other information is present. We can only guess it was the Sons of Liberty that committed this act of felony. We can also assume that they were going to do something like this before due to the, our taxes on stamps, sugar, etc. For those of you who didn't know, they have been boycotting all our goods, which means they haven't bought it from us. Well, folks, that concludes our report for tonight. See you next time on New World News. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.